my name is Stefan. I'm going to lead you through a 45-ish minutes uh, yoga session. I'm not going to make use of props except, except a towel. Grab a towel, especially if, like me, you have sensitive or very sensitive knee joint meniscus cartilages. Uh, grab a towel, a beach towel or a thick towel and roll it like this. Like a long cylinder. It's, it will become useful either to support the knee down or to create some space at the back of the knees like, like this. Stuck the roll at the back of the knee joint, at the back of the knees. <laughs> Take the knees wide and let's start in that position. Child pose. For one or two minutes. So come here in that position to, to simply move your attention to, to your body, various parts of the body and notice how you feel. Feel your feet, your ankles, your legs and knees. Your belly pressing against the thighs as you inhale. Your back expanding at the end of the inhale. And then shoulders, neck, face, relax. Exhale through the nose. Stay here for a few breaths. Spread your hands, fingers, and press them gently against the floor, against your mat, and relax into your arms and shoulders. Breathe in through the nose to slowly expand in all the breathing space. And exhale softly through the nose. Now take a deep breath in to inflate the whole body. Open your mouth wide and release the full breath out freely. And then come up. Now this class is open to all levels. If you're a beginner, a beginner you should not find any major difficulty following me here. Let's start by bringing some space between, creating more space between the bones of the feet, because after all we stand on our feet always, and during the practice mostly. So interlace, take one leg forward, interlace your fingers with your toes to start. And I agree, it's not necessarily a comfortable place to be, but we come to the mat, <laughs> would you agree with that? Not necessarily to feel completely comfortable. So interlace your fingers with your toes and start bringing some mobility in the whole foot around the ankle by rotating slowly and breathing at the same pace. Keep your attention on the way you breathe as you move in places that don't feel necessarily comfortable. Our job as yogis is to keep the breath soft and steady, regardless of the circumstances, external, noises around, madness on TV, and sometimes the internal circumstances that may be as mad as the external one. But let's stick to the, the anatomy and the way we feel in the body, shall we? Rotate in both directions. Mm, 
twist and flex your foot in all directions. And then give a little massage to the sole of the foot. Yeah, I've chosen this location here. I tried to find another place a bit quieter. It's not too bad. That's the best I could find here. It's Hello. So same thing on the other foot. And you rotate in all directions. Soft and slow breath. Yeah, I chose an outdoor location because um, I just love practice out, practicing outside. And when the weather is like this, uh, which is not often, right here in London right now, we might as well make the most of it and bring ourselves on the grass. But wherever you are, I invite you to take your practice outside every time you can. So rotate a few times. Again, massage the sole of the foot. By the way, uh, my intention is to film this sequence as a one shot. But sometimes I'm not too sure uh, with um, the camera I'm using, my phone. So I might at some point cut and do it in two or three parts. But um, I keep it flowing as much as I can in one shot. So now we've activated the feet and become maybe a bit more aware of their presence. Let's do the same with the hands. Just stretch your fingers out, clench your fist and open like this few times with the arms straight. Not only you bring aliveness in your hands, but also you activate the blood flow in your arms, in the torso. Now rotate the wrist in both directions. Now when you rotate the wrist, make sure you're not rotating the arms and the shoulders, but just the wrist, with as much amplitude as you can. And in the other directions. Feel a stretch in the, in the forearms. Find your edge in all departments, in the joints. In the way you feel comfortable. And slowly lower your hands here. Let's open the breathing space with activation of the, the heart meridian. Bring your fingers like this, or you can just bring your hands flat, facing the chest. Breathe in to elevate your heart. And as you breathe out, keep the, sh the elbows close to the ribs, start to open your hands towards the, the side and then push the palms out as far out as you can. And exhale to bring the belly in. Keep the heel of your palm moving forward with the fingers pointing up. Empty the breath, belly comes in. Then slowly bring the hands back to your heart, inhale. And again, exhale, push the hands out, maybe the fingers like this. Reach out and empty the belly, exhale. And now rise up, inhale. Look up, interlace the fingers and push the palms towards the sky or the ceiling. As high as you can, keep looking up, press the seat bones down. Feel your back expanding and then slowly lower your hands down with the shoulder blades moving back towards each other and down. Empty the belly. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, rise up. Slowly. Why slowly? Because you get more awareness of the ribs moving up as well. There is no point stepping in an autopilot. Keep elongating up. Maybe the shoulders move slightly behind the heels and you keep rising. To exhale and lower the palms down. Roll shoulders up and down a few times. Mm. 
and bring one hand at the back, just behind the sacrum, the other hand out outside of the knee. Bring awareness to your shoulders. Are they up here by the heels? Start by sending them down. Then lift your heart. Inhale. Keep the gaze and the face soft and release the breath through the nose as you twist. Now, some of you might be tempted to send your head, their heads out like this. My question is why? Because that's what they say you should be doing. Whoever they are, turn your attention to the way you feel. Where do you want this twist, this torsion happen? In the neck, which is very mobile already, or in the thoracic spine, which is not? Choose the letter for more, e more efficiency of the movement, more benefit. Breathe in, lift your heart. Bring the belly in, exhale through the nose. Twist with shoulders down and soft face. Breath in, lift your heart and ribs up. And breath out, maybe you twist a bit deeper. And now if you want, you can send your head back. And come out. Let's do the other side. One hand at the back. Press down through the fingertips to, to elevate your heart and rib cage as much as you can. You don't want to start leaning back like this. Let's bring awareness. That's why I, I like to practice slowly because it invites more and more awareness of what we do. Breathe in to lift up and breathe out to send shoulder out and keep them down. Belly comes in, exhale through the nose. Breathe in, rise up and breathe out, twist. Soft breath in through the nose. Now direct your attention to the throat when you breathe and create a whispering sound. A little friction in the throat, that's your ujjayi breath. It will keep you very focused and present. And come back to the center. So that's a gentle warm-up to to soften the tightness that we may have around the, the rib cage the, at the back, all around the breathing space, from the neck to the diaphragm and below, all those muscles participate to the breath. So if you want to optimize the breath, it's a good thing to start by bringing awareness in the way the torso feels and the back and between the ribs. Let's come on the back to do a gentle activation of the core and then we move through sun salutations and some other playful postures. So come on your back. Let's start with the knees up, knees together, feet flat. Lengthen your spine, gently press it down or allow it to press down and relax between the shoulder blades. Now take the feet off the floor, spread the toes, keep the toes spread out, feet active. Interlace the fingers behind the head and the neck with the elbows pointing up. A gentle core activation, we're not going too deep, nothing crazy or dramatic but we want to come to feel the, as much as we can the fire in the belly. So notice what thoughts you are entertaining in regard to core strength or core activation. Sometimes we might make things a bit dramatic when there is no point. Breathe in towards the lower abdomen. Hold the breath, then curl the tailbone up and send both elbows forward. Then take one leg up, curl the toes down, bring the belly down to exhale through the nose. 
and come back to center, shoulder blades down, breathe in to the side slowly. Hold the breath, get the tailbone up. Send both elbows, not just the left one, both elbows forward. And the left, the left leg up, curl the toes down. Lower the belly, exhale through the nose. Come back to center. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Keep spreading the toes. Curl the tailbone up. Elbows to the left knee. Right leg up. Curl the toes down. Bring the belly down. Exhale. And now lift the right hip three times off the floor without jumping if you can. One, two, three. Come back to center, breathe in slowly. Hold the breath, curl the tailbone up. Left leg up, curl the toes down. Empty the belly, breathe out through the nose. And lift the left leg three times. One, two, Three. Come back to Santa. Let's do one more round on each side, shall we? Breath in. Hold the breath. Curl the tailbone up. Elbows move forward towards the left knee. Try to keep the left knee above the left hip. Straighten the right leg up. Curl the toes down. Rotate the leg out this time and lift the right hip three, four or five times. One, two, Three, four, five. Come back to center. Breathe in. Hold the breath in the lower belly. You should feel some fire right now. Keep breathing softly through it. Curl the tailbone up. Hold the breath. Lengthen the left leg up. Curl the toes down. Pull the belly down. Exhale through the nose and rotate the leg out, lift the hip five times, if you did five on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And slowly come down, come into a butterfly position, Saptabada Konasana. Connect the, the heels and the ball of the feet, curl the toes out, and elongate both arms. You don't get both arms above your head. Don't know where to put the microphone. I will move it from time to time. So take the arms up here, or above your head. Stretch the torso. Keep the toes curled out. And then take a full body stretch. Ah. Walk the hips from side to side a few times. And then bring the knees close to the chest. Hands on the knees or on the shin bones and gently press the shin bones towards your chest. Then grab the back of the knees and start to rock back to front with breath in as you rock back, breath out as you rock forward. Do that a few times. Create more breath, more momentum. Just using the breath. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward, cross the legs, pluck your hands down and walk or jump into a plank. Now the plank, you want your hands below the shoulders, pushing the floor, pushing the floor away from the chest. Lengthen the legs through the heels, push the heels back. Spread your hands, the ten fingers, the thumbs are part of the ten fingers. Spread all ten fingers. Breath in, breathe out to lower the chest down. You can bring, you can choose to bring the knees down first. Let's bring the knees down first for the first one. Lower your chest and come down. Bring the hips down, lengthen your legs. Move your hands forward for a gentle cobra. Curl the tailbone towards the earth. So you feel your butt squeezing towards the back of the thighs. Then use your fingertips to traction to pull the lower ribs forward. Stay here for a few breaths. Notice how you feel in your body. Notice how you think. 
and soften your face. If you manage to keep the face soft and even maybe smiley, you're going to notice that it impacts the way you breathe. Breath will become easier. Inhale through the nose. Take the elbows off the floor now. Press the hands down. Breathe in. Pull your heart up a little. As you breathe out, send shoulders down and squeeze elbows towards each other. Squeeze armpits towards each other. Breathe out. Press the hands down. Lengthen your legs. Inhale. Spread the ribs. Curl the tailbone down. And breathe out to come down. Hands below the shoulders. Let's move to downward facing dog. Curl the toes. Send the hips back. Send the hips back. Take the knees off the floor. Keep pushing the hips back. Notice the length, the straight line between the wrist and the hips. Ideally, you want a straight line between the, the wrist and the hips, even if the heels do not go down. Breathe in through the nose, look back. Breathe out and maybe on the out breath, you take the tailbone higher and the heels down. Sorry for me. Stay here for three breaths. Inhale softly through the nose. Exhale softly through the nose to bring the belly slightly in. And again. Inhaling. Exhaling, keep pushing the hips back. Then bend, soften into the knees and step forward. Feet together, you lengthen your back. Make sure the, the butt doesn't move too far back. Send the hips above the, the knees and the ankles and lengthen the, the chest forward, inhale. Exhale to fold, you can bend the legs. Slowly come up. Come up to a neutral standing pose, mountain pose, Tadasana. We're going to readjust, reset the breath, reset the nervous system to a neutral mode, just by observing the breath for a few, few rounds. Soften around your face, neck, shoulders. Spread your palms, turn the palms to face forward so your shoulders can roll back and relax. Spread your feet against the floor, press your feet down. Bend the legs just a little, a slight softening into the knees, then tilt the pelvis forward. Breathe in, feel the space above your hips expanding. Breathe out softly through the nose. Stay here for two more breaths. No rush. Maybe we do only 10 poses during the, those 45 or, 40 or 30 minutes left. I take you to the sort of practice that serves and benefits me those days. And uh, it's, it's not high tempo practice. It's practice that cultivates more and more and more awareness of the body. Okay, open your eyes. Let's do another round of Sun Salutation A and then we go straight into a more so-called traditional form of Sun Salutation and maybe we bring a twist into that. Why not? No. Everything we call traditional was one day made up, right? So feel free to add your variation as long as you practice safely with awareness of the breath there is nothing wrong. Take your arms above your head, inhale. Lower hands to the floor, exhale softly. Come to a flat back to breathe in. Fingertips can be here, here, arms can be here. Focus is on the lengthening of the rib cage forward. Breathe in. Exhale to fold. 
come to a long flat back again. Inhale. Fold, exhale, spread your hands, press the palms down and step or jump back into a plank. This time let's keep the kneecap off the mat. Maximize the length of your body. And the space between your shoulder blades. Breathe in. Make sure to keep the face soft. The jaw relaxed. Lower the chest between your hands, breathe out. Squeeze elbows in, not out, in. And come flat. Inhale to lift your heart slowly above the ground. Shoulder blades moving back. Almost like sliding doors behind your heart. Breath in. And breath out, slowly moving to down dog. If you want, walk with, do this with the eyes closed. Spread, press your palms down, spread the fingers. Lower the knees, breathe in through the sides. Breathe out to push the hips back and the heels down. Again, take a breath in through the nose and breathe out, look back. Bend the legs and step forward. Come to a long flat back, inhale. Look forward, slightly up if you can, and fold to exhale softly. Come up, look down, come up, sweep arms up, inhale. Low hands to your heart, exhale. Shoulders are soft, neck is relaxed, the whole face is soft. Press your feet down. Reach up, inhale. Exhale softly through the nose, lower your hands. Move through a long flat back. No pausing between inhaling and exhaling. Let's each one flow into the other. Take your left foot back. Bring the knee down if, you're not, if you want, if you feel tight. If you have any sort of discomfort, start with the easiest option. Knee down, lengthen your spine, inhale. Then lower knees on the same line. Exhale to lower chest between your hands. Inhale into a gentle cobra, or if your lower back is warm enough for a deeper bending, you can straighten both arms, come into upward facing dog. Take a breath in, elevate your heart. And breathe out softly. Take the toes. Move to down dog. Take one breath in. And one breath out through the nose. Soften into the knees. Step the left foot forward. Right knee down. Lengthen your spine. Let the hips sink as well. And step to the front of your mat. To fold. Unfold as you inhale. Lift the ribs high above the hips. Lower hands to your heart. Exhale. Reach up. Inhale. Soften hands down. Release the breath out. Elongate your back. Breathe in. Feel the spine lengthening. And breathe out to press the hands down. Take the right foot back. Let's do the same thing. We did on the other side, right knee down, lengthen your spine, keep looking down, no need to look up, you, keep, you want the neck long in line with the spine, feeling spacious, and step back to a plank, or maybe both knees down, take a breath in, breathe out to lower chest down, inhale, two, up dog or cobra, and down dog to exhale. Take one breath in, and one breath out. Step the right foot between your hands, left knee down. Take one breath in. Exhale as you step to the front of your mat. Into a fold. And take your time to unfold, to come up, back to Tadasana. That was one round on each side of traditional sun salutation. So let's do a second round of traditional sun salutation, this time moving one breath at a time. 
So with minimum instruction, just follow your breath and then follow my voice. But follow your breath and your sensations first. Inhale, hands to your heart, exhale. Rise up, hands down, exhale. Flat back to breathing and press the hands, left foot back and both arms up. Keep the hips low and lift your heart. Elongate the abdominal column here. Lift the lower ribs up. Back to vinyasa. High plank. Lower chest exhale. Inhale to upward facing dog. Down dog exhale. Left foot forward. Both arms up, one breath. Step out the front. Unfold slowly. Release the breath out, soften shoulders. Elongate up, inhale. Hands down, exhale. Flat back to breathing. Press the hands. Look back, right foot back. Both arms up. Keep the lower ribs in. Lengthen through the spine. High plank. Low plank, exhale. And now we step at the front, we exhale. We come into ragdoll for a moment, take the feet wide, bend the legs slightly and fall forward. Interlace fingers in your back, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades towards each other and fold. Breathe. and come out softly. Now, press your hands, take the left foot back. With the left knee down, turn the left foot back a little. Bring the right forearm alongside the right thigh. Take your left hand slightly out to the left and elongate your, the left side of your torso. Breathe in. I'm going to turn around. I don't want to turn my back on you guys. <clears throat> so this particular position is not only soothing for lower back and hip joints, but it's a good stretch for the deep internal abdominal muscle, the, the psoas. which has a lot to do with our hip mobility. Breathe in softly as you elongate the left rib cage. Breathe as to let the hips sink down and bring this knee and this shoulder closer to each other as you exhale. Breath in. Try to keep this foot pointing forward. Squeeze the pelvic floor as you exhale here. Inhale. Expand between the ribs. Exhale. Elbow to knee. Breathe out. Soften neck and face. Let the hips sink. One more breath. So you see there is a, you can come out. There is a twist here, but it's not just a twist in the spine. The twist in the spine is very soft in, in that way of doing, but also there is a lot of awareness in what your muscles are doing around the spine and inside of the belly. You give your organs, digestive organs, 
a good little stretch. Not that the organs stretch themselves, but you move them out of place, against, rub them against each other, <coughs> which is healthy. It activates blood flow within. Now, you come out of that pose, let's do a gentle half split. So push the hips back. Bring your hands on your quad muscle, gently press the thigh down. You want to stretch the back of the leg, curl the toes towards the face and breathe in to lengthen chest and torso forward. Let's flutter the lips, make sure there is no tension hiding here. Keep the chin up, keep the chest bone moving forward, inhale. Exhale, soften, keep face soft, shoulders relaxed. And slowly come out. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Bring both knees on the same line. Let's come back to a vinyasa to reconnect breath and movement just in case they got disconnected. Push the hip kneecaps off the floor, take a breath in, lower the chest down, exhale. Squeeze, squeeze elbows in. Inhale to lengthen rib cage up. Roll shoulders back and down. Breathe in. And breathe out to downward facing dog. Bend the legs, step the left foot forward. Lower the right knee, take the right foot a little further back and connect the left forearm to the left thigh, right hand moves out slightly, elongate your right rib cage, breathe in, rotate slightly, lower the right hip as you exhale, press the left knee towards the right shoulder, breathe out. Inhale, elongate torso, and exhale, squeeze the knee in, squeeze the pelvic floor, Release the breath, belly comes in slightly. Breathe in, expand between the ribs. Breathe out, keep softness around the face. And breathe out, bring the, the abdomen in slightly. Why? Not just because yogis say it's the best way to breathe, but you want to transfer the heat from the abdominal muscles. Remember the fire that we built? Transfer that to the spine as you twist the spine to have this extra heat around it is a, a safe way to do it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Squeeze elbow, knee to elbow. Lower the hips, breathe out, soften as you breathe out and come out, half split. Straighten back of the leg and lengthen spine forward, lower ribs move away from the hips. Chin up, shoulders soft, exhale. And release. Come out. <clears throat> come to a seated position. Now let's come into a gentle bridge. Come on your back. Feet flat, close to the butt. Open your back, let your weight go down here. Then start to lift the tailbone off the floor. Breathe in. Notice how the sacrum starts, the upper ridge of the sacrum start to press down as you lift the tailbone. Then the, the, rib, the, the vertebra start to press down, the mid back as you lift the hips up. Breathe in, keep lifting the hips up and keep curling tailbone, feel the butt active, pressing towards the, the hamstrings. Keep the thighs parallel to each other, hip distance apart. Keep lifting the the heart, the vertebra. Keep your hands flat or you can interlace fingers in the back. So let's start with the hands flat. Gentle breathe, nothing extreme. Breathe in, spread the ribs more. Press your feet down. 
lift your heart a bit more and breathe out to bring the spine down one vertebra at a time then the pelvis tilts back towards the floor and the tailbone and you bring your feet into butterfly pose again connect the feet curl the toes out take a breath in a full breath out if you want <sighs> again let's come into another bridge this time you can come probably a little bit deeper it's up to you the intensity of your practice is really entire up to you find this place between challenging yourself a little and feeling comfortable let's go tailbone and lift the hips more send the heart closer to your chin soften into your face and slowly come down back to butterfly pose rock the hips from side to side gently and bring the knees up take the feet a bit wider than maybe bring the feet on the the edges of your mat and connect the knees together then without moving the feet let the knees come on one side no, do not move the the feet do not try to adjust or readjust just notice how you feel let the thigh be heavy the top thigh and relax in your belly just notice which part of the body is in contact with the floor how does it feel let go of the weight of your head, neck, shoulders. Relax into your ankles as well. And slowly take the knees up, inhale. Lower knees to the other side, exhale. Do not move the feet. Notice if if you feel different on this side compared to the other side what feels different where does it feel different what's the nature of the sensation how is the breath going do that few times on each side and when you're ready to come to your shavasana lengthen both legs forward and let the weight of the body being absorbed by the supports beneath it so if you take your practice outside in a public place like I do uh, you have to really know the place and feel 100% confident to let yourself go through Shavasana uh, I get that just make sure you're fully aware of your surrounding uh, but when you're in a place where you know you are safe uh, abandon yourself completely if you're in a public space and you're not too sure if you can let yourself go into Shavasana come to a seated position to, for, to have a gentle closing meditation for a moment why not so lie down flat on your back for as long as you want I will stop this recording here you can stay in Shavasana until tomorrow morning if you want thank you for watching and uh, maybe we meet sooner or later in the meantime stay safe stay strong stay happy